Uh, this is an order for Copland on um, Thursday, July 15th, and this is also St. Swithin's Day. And Copland begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer, and we will take just a few minutes to be quiet. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm for today is Psalm 78, found on page 694 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will read this in unison, verses 1 through 8. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times. That which we have heard and known and what our forefathers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord and the wonderful works he has done. He gave his decrees to Jacob and established a law for Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generation to come might know and the children yet unborn, that they in their turn might tell it to their children, so that they might put their trust in God and not forge the deeds of God, not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments not be like their forefathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought us again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, work in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. We continue in the middle of page 132. In your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness 
that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together in the middle of page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You may un unmute yourselves at this time for prayers, either silently or aloud. Pray for Sally and Andrea and Nat and Rachel and Kilby. For Pam. For Cynthia. For the repose of the soul of Kale King and for his family. And Patrick and Art. For Ron and Sherry. And Tessa. For Linda. Joe. For Doris. For Kathy. Doris. Lynn. Anna. For Jerry. Rebecca. <clears throat> we give thanks for all of our staff at Holy Cross. Heavenly Father, bring your healing to all those who struggle and suffer in life, that in you alone all people would find their perfect peace. God of love, in whom all our wounds are healed and our suffering is soothed, send into our spirits your healing mercy, that all that is hurting within us may be comforted and all that is broken within us made whole, that we would be enabled to bring to those we meet words of encouragement, hope, and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, we pray for your church that you would show so the, that you would show us the love you have for us in each moment of our lives. God of love, you formed us before we were born and promised us that wherever we go, we cannot be far from you. We, be close to us this night and fill us with your comfort, that resting secure in your care and your delight, we may find rest and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs>